Welcome to another What You Got Wednesday. My name is Kate and this is Diamond Painting and Dr. Pepper and I'm really excited to get into these two pieces with you. So these two kits are actually not new releases but they are new to me. I just recently purchased them. I used my points and uh, Coastal Window actually was one that just came back in stock recently and I have been kind of wishing I picked that one up since it was first released so I had to jump on it and I decided to also get one that had been on my wish list for a while. This is Water Nymph. So yeah, I'm gonna get into these with you and look at the canvases and all the drills and everything. So let's get into it, I'm excited. So I thought we'd start with Coastal Window because it's smaller. I am not sure why this one calls my name as much as it does. This one is kind of a landscape slash floral and those are not typically my go-to's for diamond paintings, but I don't know if it's like the nautical element to this one or the colors because it's got really soft colors. Something about it just really calls to me, so I'm really glad I was able to pick this one up. And it's fun to do something different every once in a while. So here's our tool kit. And our little sticker. Oh, that artwork is so pretty. So this is by Nan. <laughs> and I'm not familiar with this artist's other work, but I do kind of want to go check it out. I don't know, it's, it's this artwork in particular that calls to me though, so I'm excited to see what it looks like in person. Let's get into the toolkit. So each toolkit will come with a plastic tray and stopper and a bag full of baggies, a little caddy that has two plates of wax in it, a pen and squishy, and a couple different multi-placers, a four and a seven, and then the Elements that are unique to each kit will be a washi tape, which this one is a nice purple and yellow flowers, and a cover minder, and this one is a pretty yellow flower. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the canvas itself. Ooh, it's got the perforated cover even though it's a restock, so that's cool. Here is the color spread on this one. Really soft, just kind of like low-key colors. I love it, it's kind of soothing. You'll get a thank you brochure from the founder, Angie. And it's got some tips and tricks inside as well as what's included and even some coupon codes in there. So. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, be sure to check that out if you want to save some money on your next purchase. And here is our bigger sticker sheet. So this is Coastal Window by Nan, as I mentioned. The diamond shape is round. It's 22 inches by 17 inches or 55.8 by 42.6 centimeters. And it has 52 colors. Four of those are going to be ABs, which are anything below the number 150 on the sticker sheet. And I think this one was created before fairy dust came around, so this one doesn't have any fairy dust or anything, just four ABs. So let's look at the drills and then we'll see where they go on the canvas. Here's our packet out of its bag and I'll probably not call out all of the numbers, but I will show them to you and call out the special drills. And I'm sorry for the plastic noise. <laughs> so these round drills are resin and they're all made at the Diamond Art Club factory. So we make our own, which is really cool because then we have more control over um, the quality assurance and the colors and everything else. If you're new to my channel, I do work for Diamond Art Club. I am on the rendering team, so I do have a hand in every render that comes out. Ah, here's our first AB. This is 131, and it's kind of a light orange. 
and AB just stands for Aurora Borealis, and it has just a really iridescent coating on the top that makes it sparkle a lot more. I'm loving seeing some of these brighter colors in here that I kind of forgot about because it seems like such a calm color palette but then you do have like touches of bright green and yellow. And I think this is our last strand. Some really pretty light pinks. Three seven four three is one of my favorite colors for some reason. It's just like a really, really light, dusty purple. Here is our second AB. This is 141, and it's one we use a lot because a lot of times the brightest whites in a kit are going to be highlighting important parts of the piece, so it makes sense to use ABs for those parts and make them extra blingy. Here's our next AB. This is 125, and it's a light, 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 light blue. <laughs> we have two bags of 3861. And it looks like I missed 104, so I'm gonna see if I can find where I walked right past it, because I did this last week too. Totally just missed one. Yep, you guys probably caught it while well, it was going by and I just totally missed it. But here's 104 and it's our fourth AB. And it's just a really, really light, like beige, kind of peachy beige color. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'll move these out of the way so we can look at where those are gonna go. I can almost fit the whole kit in the frame, but I can't quite, so I'll do my best here. So we're looking for the numbers one, two, three, and four. That's nice and easy. I can see there's some ones down here in the shell here and here and over in the shell. There's also some fours, which is the white AB, just doing some reflecting on the whitest parts of the shells and in this vase. Three is that light orange and we're gonna find that in the middle of the flowers. Two is the really light blue and that's gonna be highlighting areas in the sky. There's some more ones up here too in the flowers. And a lot of fours as well, just highlighting those bright edges of the flowers. So yeah, it's a pretty small piece and I think it would go really fast, especially because it's in rounds and those tend to, at least for me, work up faster. So yeah, I'm excited to get to this one someday. I'm really loving these blue flowers that are peeking in around the outsides of this bouquet. I just think it's such a pretty piece. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see up close the drill field. Yeah, that's that one. That's Coastal Window. Let's get on to Water Nymph. Okay, next we've got Water Nymph. This is by Christine Karen. And this one's a square. You can tell because it has a square on the box and it's blue. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into it here. I don't know exactly when this was released. I can't quite remember. I think it might have been a couple years ago. But what I love about this one is the colors. They are so amazing. Small sticker didn't want to come out, but here is the original artwork. Isn't that amazing? We'll be able to see it better on the larger sticker, so we'll get to that in a minute. So this toolkit came with the same basic tools, except we also added tweezers because this is a square kit and square kits come with tweezers. And it looks like we actually got the exact same cover minder, which is funny. And we did get different washi tape this time though. And it's one I haven't seen before. It's kind of like a brown floral, really pretty. All right, let's get into this canvas. Mm, 
Now this one's bigger, so it definitely won't even be close to fitting in frame, but I'll do a pan over so you can see the whole thing. Oh my gosh, look at her face. This one was so fun to work on the render for because the colors are just so unique for like skin tones and stuff. There's so many blues and greens and purples. We have our thank you booklet again. And here's the large sticker. So let's look at that artwork a bit more close up. Oh my gosh. She looks like a succulent. <laughs> you know those fuzzy succulents that are kind of green, but they have like the peach fuzz on them? That's what she reminds me of. I love her. This one has 57 colors and it's got three ABs. And this one was definitely before fairy dust came out. So no fairy dust, but so pretty. Again, by Christine Karen. It's 20 by 26 inches or 50 centimeters by 66 centimeters. And yeah, still a really manageable size. This one, interestingly, does not have the perforated cover. And I think it's because this one was still in stock while the other one was a restock. Look at this color spread. This is my happy place. All of those pastels and pinks and soft greens. So pretty. Before we start looking into those, let's take a look at the canvas. We'll do a close up here so you can see the symbols. I always like to close do a close up of the face because it's my favorite part. <laughs> I've seen this one completed and it looks so pretty. But yeah, let's go ahead and do a pan over. Diamond Art Club canvases are made with a self flattening material or you can roll them backwards a little bit to get them to lay flatter. It's almost flat anyway, and I haven't really done anything, so I'm just gonna leave it, but here we go. I'll show you the pan over. Okay, that's the whole thing. Now let's take a look at the drills. Looks like we have a little small strand of two here. Cute. I'll try to catch all the ABs this time before they pass me by and I have to go back and look for them. <laughs> Luckily one of them is right here at the front and this is 131 which I think is the same as the light orange we had in Coastal Window so you'll be familiar with that one. Such pretty cool tones in this one. Ooh, there's my favorite color again, 3743. <laughs> I love that both of these kits have kind of similar colors in them. Do I have a type? <laughs> I don't know, because I like really bright colors too. Okay, I didn't see any more ABs in that strand, but if you did, let me know if I missed one. <laughs> Here is the second one, 127, which is a really light pink. Got a lot more of that one than we did of 131. Two bags of 3750, which is a really pretty dark blue. Two bags of 989, another pretty green. bags of 987 aha here's our third AB I didn't miss it this is a really full bag of AB 100 which is a really pretty green we 
have three bags of 3865. Just one bag of 310, not too much. And there we have it. Let me move these out of the way and we'll take a look at where the special drills will go. Okay, this is another easy one. We're looking for just numbers one, two, and three. So the two is a light pink and I'm seeing a lot of that here in the flower and the flower down here at the bottom also. And then also in her hair, there's a lot of strands of pink in her hair. The number one shows up in these kind of like, I don't know if this is kelp, but it's wrapped up in her hair and there's a lot of that there as well as pretty much anywhere you see the greenery, there's a lot of the number one symbol. It's that green AB. It's all over here too and down, I'm trying not to hit the camera, but down here in the lily pad at the bottom, both lily pads. And then number three is that light orange and it's gonna be in the center of the flowers here, just like it was in Coastal Window. It's a really good color for that. And yeah, those are the main places you're gonna see those ABs. So that is Water Nymph by Christine Karen. Let's take a look at both of these kits side by side. So these are the two new to me kits that I got this week and was really excited to share with you. I hope you enjoyed watching my unboxing of these. Thank you so much for being here and for spending some time with me today. I will see you maybe tomorrow with an update on my current works in progress. And then I will definitely see you Friday for the kickoff video to my Way of Kings read along. So I hope to catch you in one of those and I will see you then. Thanks everyone, bye.